Hi Arya, Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed some timber wargs and got their pelts for Malakas. Today we are going to continue that journey, and we are going to slay Patriarch Ironjaw. Hopefully, we'll, hopefully we find him. First, I'm going to sell some junk. So we got quite a bit of it. There we go. Got a lot of BOEs too that we can sell. BOE sell for a decent amount. I think that's enough. There we go. Should be good for now. Farewell. Alright, so let's go find Iron Jaw. Hopefully we can find him today, and hopefully he is not on a res timer. Last episode we got a little bit unlucky. And we were not able to uh to get Iron Jaw because he was uh, it's on a res timer. I think the timer is pretty damn long because we ran around for a little bit and he was still like his corpse was still there. So wasn't very good. Hopefully we get lucky today and we can find him. Before somebody else does. <laughs> yeah, we've been in Terracar for a while. Oh my gosh, I hate these work stalkers, man. It's kind of startled me a little bit. It's knocked me off my mount. Take that. Oh great, now I can fight him. <laughs> the whole forest is coming. So I kind of feel like I have to find him, you know what I mean? So, fighting these guys is slowing me down. Somebody else can be finding him right now while I'm getting attacked by all the creatures in the forest. Okay, we gotta get up before we pull this guy. That's what Blizzard wants. Blizzard wants us to be stuck here. Fighting forever. That's not the case. We're gonna get away. We're going to find this iron jaw. We're on a high pop server, so this probably gets farmed quite a bit. And when people see him, they probably think he's like a, a rare spot or something like that. Oh man. These things are fast too. There's a lot of these guys around here. Is that him? Nice. Well, it's our lucky day, guys. Looks like we're gonna find Iron Jaw. Oh, he's destroying him. And there we go, we got his pelt. So let's head back to Stonebreaker. And we will give this pelt to Malakaz. We'll see what he'll do with it. Pretty quick quest. I'll try to do another quest. After this one. This one was a little... Pretty damn fast. I'm, ha I'm happy about that though, because... I wanted to finish this quest last episode, but... We weren't able to. It's awesome having an epic mount too. 
makes uh, traveling much better. Gosh. Let's get out of here. All right, so we're at Stonebreaker Hold. Let's go have a chat with Malakaz, see what he has to say. Sug, sug. Spirit awaits, Flight Carrier. Have you the pelt of the Wolf Patriarch? The pelt is even more magnificent than I had hoped. This is good. This is a good omen, Flight Carrier, and the spirits will favor you for your contribution to the ceremony. I have fashioned a helmet for you from the remaining pelts, Flight Carrier. It identifies you as a mighty hunter and an ally of the Great Wolf Spirit of Terracar Forest. Welcoming the worst spirit, Wolf Spirit. I've nearly completed the vestments that I'll wear during the ceremony. As I add the finishing touches, I'd like you to set this incense by the candles near the runestone to my left. I believe it will help us to attract the wolf spirit's attention. Since it was made in the days of the Orcish clans, I can almost imagine my ancestors using it in a ceremony paying tribute to the wolf spirit after a successful hunt. Once you've placed the incense, I'll begin the Strength. ceremony. Okay, so supposedly he has uh, some stuff going on here. I've got to place the incense. So we have received the ceremonial incense. And here we go, let's place it. Let's watch the ceremony. Wolf spirit of the forest, hear me. Long ago, you were a companion up to my people. We gave ourselves to evil and you were forgotten. But we have returned, spirit. We have returned to honor you again. Favor us with your presence once more. Oh, there he is. Pretty wild. May our bond with you never be broken again, spirit. We have done it. Thrall would be proud. And there we go. Thrall, huh? Reestablishing ties with the wolf spirit is just the beginning of my journey, not the end. This is incredible. I set out on this journey, unsure of whether the wolf spirit would answer our summons, and now it feels as though he's always been here. Perhaps he was, Flight Carrier. Perhaps he was waiting for the orcs to realize that their choices had rot. Okay. So let's, uh... This helm's kind of the same as the one we got on, so... Go forth to victory. It's no big deal. Probably won't wear it. Let's have a chat here with uh, Who you be? Tuki. This forest be a spooky place. It's full of more bad juju than just the Alliance, so you watch out. Flight Carrier, I think that after you're done celebrating here, you should go back to the Cenarian Thicket and speak with Earthbinder Tavgren. I'm certain he'll want to know what really happened out there. All right, so I guess we gotta go talk to Tavgren. And we'll get this chest. It's not bad. The thing is, we need sockets for it, though. Well, I mean, we need gems for those sockets. I don't know if we'll be buying gems. I have a chat here with Rokag. Roktar. Surrender to the Horde. The cowardly Arakoa attack us daily. They ambush our hunters and sometimes even raid inside our walls. We kill them when we can, but their magic is strong and they often escape our warbands. I have learned that some Arakoa claim to be friendly with the Horde. They live in Shatraz City to the northwest. Rilak the Redeemed is their leader. Search for him in the lower city, and when you find him, demand to surrender. For the Horde! Alright, so let's go do that. <laughs> We're gonna demand the Arakoa surrender. It's crazy how he's allowed to fight the Horde, but he's... But he's allowed to hide in Sharath City. It just goes to show that Sharath City isn't a like a 
in allegiance with the Horde at all. It's only allegiances to the Naru. Which makes you wonder, like, that means the Aldor and the, the Aldor Draenei and the Blood Elf Scryers. They, their allegiance isn't to the Horde or the Alliance. It's just to the Naru, right? It's kind of interesting. Oh, we got a mage here. Nope. Horde mage. So let's go find Tavern. And try to get this uh, chest piece here. Oh, Paladin. And there he is. Always hanging out right in front of the thicket. Uh, I've been A bomb utilizing pure mana? That can take our whole towns. Take out whole towns. But why? Why would the Blood Elves create, create such a thing and use it on us? The Cenarian Thicket was a place of peace and repose. Whatever the reason, it must be locked inside the head of Warden Trilos, and I have no idea how to cure him. Perhaps his mind will heal in time. Regardless, I want to thank you for helping me figure out what happened. I can only hope that this tragedy will never befall anyone else ever again. All right, so let's take this chest. Unless we want to take the play legs. Yeah, I'll take the play legs. The I plan on just selling that gear anyways. All right, so off to Shatrath City. There's Empor. This guy's very brave to be walking by. Uh, he just walks right by. And he knew about the mana bomb the whole time. He just walks right by Tavgren. Doesn't have a care in the world that all the night elves, or I guess Cenarian... Uh, Cenarian Thicket. Well, the people who live in the Cenarian Thicket are, uh, were slayed. Kind of because of him keeping his mouth shut. Yeah, they're called the, Ex the Cenarian Expedition. I almost forgot. So here we are in Arakoa land, the Arakoa section of Lower City. Oh, this guy's down here. Alright, time to tell him to surrender to the Horde. Your people are angry, but there is little I can do. Some of us have been touched by the power of the Naru, and we are ne forever changed. Those of us who remain in the wild are as we have always been. That's interesting. Doom harkens from the cliffs of Skedis. My people, the Arakoa, face a fate shrouded in unspeakable evil. Too often have we abused dark magic for wrongdoing. Through Adal, I have learned of the light and of redemption. Tarak watches his colonies from Skedis through orbs enchanted by the black art. Steal these eyes from Vale Resk and Vale Shinor in northern Terakar. Let me see what Tarak sees. Let me look through the eyes of the Skedis. Well, that's kind of interesting. So, these guys, the Arakoa here, are pretty much like every other person here that comes here they're you pretty they're pretty they're uh brainwashed by uh by adele the naru i wonder why this guy keeps doing this like what's he why does he keep fighting this avatar of tarak yeah maybe we'll do that quest soon All right, so off to uh, the Arakoa strongholds. 
we will uh, steal their orbs. And I remember seeing them the last time we had to uh, slay their leaders. Shouldn't be too bad. I wonder if the Horde and the Alliance think the same way. I wonder if Cadgar is also, you know, I wouldn't say corrupted, but is he also, you know, working for the Naru? Probably not. But it seems whoever comes into Shatrath is like, yeah, that Adal guy is great. Everybody likes him. <laughs> Can't do no wrong. where we're going here. Kind of taking a scenic route. The thing is, we are druids, so you can just shapeshift into aquatic form and just swim around. And the Arakoas are right here and here. The Vale, I should say. I guess that's what they call their, their bases. They call them Vales. gonna keep taking attacking me. And I'm pulling everything. <laughs> Stakes were made. We gotta run. We need to pick the herb. Doesn't look like it. Yep. Nope. All right. Gave up on us. Just wanted to make sure we didn't get the herb pick. Just wanted to give us one hit. Great. I didn't even see you in here. Let's heal up. All right, now it's time to go into sneaky cat mode. We will sneak our way to the orb. There's a uh, Ashkas. Remember, I was looking for him for quite some time. He kind of blends in with his uh, subordinates, I should say. There we go. And there's the Eye of Vale Resk. It's being protected by the Shinor Wingard. Let's pick this up. I'm going to take a picture. It looks kind of cool. Alright, let's pick it up. The Eye of Vale Resk. I wonder what it said there. It said something about the eye. The globe emits a soft blue glow. Supposedly, the Erico used that as like their. I guess it's like a, a camera or like, I don't know. It's the way they, I guess, send messages to their leader. Or it allows their leader to watch over them. And if we collect these, this will allow Rillac to, uh, to watch over them. I don't know if that'll change anything, though. 
at least they'll be able to get information. I like this veil better. I think they, they got it set up better than the other one. The one we just we were just at. Cause look at that. Like they're they're in a tree, so you have to like go through here. You gotta come. You have to like run up this tree. Kinda reminds me of like a tour in town. Except you don't have the elevators going up. I love stealth. It's great for questing. And there it is. The final orb. Well, the eye, I should say. Look at that, we didn't even have to fight anybody. Alright, so there we go. Let's jump down. And then we'll head back to Shadrath and we'll see uh, see what Rillac has to say. Imagine he's just getting us to do the, his dirty work for him. And he's not really... Because he never agreed to surrender to the Horde. He just said, hey, the ones in Terracar Forest I have no control over. But I guess he can help us. If he, uh, if we help him get control, I guess. And then that would strengthen the Dow even more. There's Tad. Greetings. I'm looking at the Scenarian thicket. And then he has to see this guy every day, Emperor, walk right by him. A guy who blew up. <laughs> who knew about his, uh, his people getting blown up. It's pretty sad. The Lost Ones are pretty, uh, they're brutal. They're much more brutal than their Draenei brothers, that's for sure. Turn, Druid. What news do you bring? Your bravery should be commended. The guardians of Skedis do not part their belongings willingly. But heroics of the past are of little consequence now. We shall see if such bravery continues to persist in the future. For Terok's gaze fixates to the, on the south. These eyes are all seeing. So I guess we'll take uh, the healing pots. Nice. Alright, so I'm going to call it here, and next episode we will continue this quest chain. But as always guys, thanks for watching, keep your heads up, later.